take a look at uh, fences and what's new with fences. Again, another way to select elements in MicroStation would be to use a fence. So we've got a new tool, Copy Move Fence Contents. The Copy Move Fence Contents is also the old MicroStation command for separate file, or separate fence file, and then fence file, those keyins we used to use. Now we've actually got an icon and a dialog box, which allows us to select or create the output file, and then whether we're gonna copy it to a new file or move it to a new file. So we've got those options too. Saved fences. You can kind of think of this as a saved region. And if you ever want to reuse a fence, say you're using a uh, clip boundary that's unique, it's got a lot of shape to it, you can save that fence as a saved fence and then recall it to clip another reference file if you're attaching it later. So that's very nice and a, a nice thing to be able to use when working with fences or even printing if you've got multiple fences that you need for printing certain uh, design files. Fences and AccuSnap. In the older versions, it was a little tricky to get AccuSnap to work with a fence. You had to hold down Control Shift. But in the new V8i Select series, they gave us a toggle under the AccuSnap settings dialog box. You can actually now enable fence, uh, enable AccuSnap for fence create. So those are the things that we'll be taking a look at in detail underneath fences. And we're just going to open up the uh, fence toolbar from the main task. And there's a new icon, Copy Move Fence Contents. This command replaces the old fence uh, file and separate fence commands from MicroStation. It's actually an icon in the toolbar now with a tool settings window. The uh, output file name, you can browse to the file name that you want to create. I'm just going to call this uh, bolt. What I'm doing here is just taking this bolt detail out of the one drawing and making its own drawing out of it. I have uh, two modes. I can copy it or I can move it, which is uh, what I'm going to do here. And then the fence mode, whether it be inside, overlap. And then I can also uh, switch to the generated file that I create. So following the prompts in the lower left-hand corner tells me to identify the first point of the fence and then the second point of the fence file. And then the last step here is uh, an important one is to accept the fence contents. So one more left click to accept the fence contents. And what I'm doing now is switching to that generated file called bolt that I just created. If I go back to my uh, previous file using the view groups toolbar. So now I'm back in my previous file, you can see it's been moved from this file to the bolt.dgn file that I just created. So that uh, replaces again fence file and separate fence. The next thing we're going to show you here is working on placing fences. And uh, one thing that uh, is new here in V8i Select Series is the ability to place fences with AccuSnap. Um, little known fact, if you're trying to place a fence in the older releases, you actually had to hold down the Control Shift key to make that happen. But now in the AccuSnap settings, there's actually a toggle now to enable for fence create. So if I toggle that on and try to place a fence, You'll notice how AccuSnap is now activated. So I can actually snap using AccuSnap to create a fence. So that was the AccuSnap settings to enable for creation of a fence. Also, when you place a fence, you can actually create a saved fence. So what I'm doing here is creating a saved fence. So I'm just going to call this Plan View Clip. Then I'll be able to recall this if I attach additional files and need to clip it. I won't have to recreate that fence. I can just recall it. I'll create a, another one, just a, maybe a typical scenario here for a uh, profile view clip. And then I'll create one more for printing. So I get the whole border here. And then I can use the save fence for printing as well. Once I have all these uh, fences created, then I can merely just double click on them and they're going to be activated and placed at the same time. So as I double click on these fences, you'll see them, they get the green shaded area representing a fence has been placed. You can uh, delete a fence. So if you don't need it any longer, you can delete it using the delete button there. And then you can also activate it. So it's instead of double clicking, you can just pick the uh, folder with the arrow icon there and activate that fence. So just a couple few things that are new there in the fences category for you.